The tomb of David, according to tradition, is attributed to the tomb of King David. Although there are historians and archaeologists who doubt it. Also, according to Christian tradition, here is the place where the Last Supper of Christ was held with his disciples. The building was built in the days of the Crusaders about a thousand years ago, probably on the ruins of a Byzantine building built about 1,500 years ago, and renovated again. King David conquered Jerusalem from the Jebusites, about 3,000 years ago, and moved the capital of Judah from Hebron to Jerusalem, becoming a united kingdom of all the tribes of Judah and Israel. King David is best known for his Book of Psalms, a collection of prayer hymns expressing man's connection with God. Therefore, Jewish prayer is full of chapters of Psalms. Apart from David's importance in Jewish history as a symbol of the king, He is also important to Christians, who see Jesus as a descendant attributed to King David, and therefore he is the Messiah son of David. And in Christian tradition and prayer, the Psalms take an important part. The Christians attribute the place of the Last Supper, which was at the time of the Second Temple, where Jesus and his disciples, who were Jews, kept the commandment of the Passover sacrifice. Among Muslims, King David is called the Prophet David. So, this place is sacred to the three religions. For generations, all religions wanted power and control over the place, which led to conflicts. After the establishment of the State of Israel, it holds the place and gives freedom to believers of all religions, but still the conflicts and demands of ownership are not over.